Grady chose me and I chose Grady over the years. I'd heard a lot about Grady, so I came here and I was offered a job here and I stayed. They were like laying off people back in the 70s. And I wanted to be somewhere that it was going to be stable. It was a lot of students that went to school with me and they were saying, I want to work at Grady. And I had a sister that worked at Grady, so she encouraged me to choose Grady. I started out as in nursing school at Georgia State University and I did a rotation in pediatrics over here at Grady. The nurses that I worked with in the rotation were just very knowledgeable and I decided then that I wanted to come here when I finished nursing school. I originally came after I had finished my bachelor's degree in respiratory and my brother actually was working in anesthesia at the time. So I applied and the rest is history. I started at the health system as a clerk typist in the food service department. And after leaving the director of pediatric nursing, I found my wonderful boss, Dr. Gator Lopez, in the Georgia Poison Center. She could walk into a room and everybody's already in the mood to start working. Starting your day with smile and energy, she, she brings that. That's, that's what I love. The first uh, job I had was working as a receptionist clerk in the radiology department on the third floor and then I've got a position over here at the school. Linda has the best customer service of anybody I have ever met in my life. She is the most patient person with every single applicant, no matter how long they keep her on the phone or when they come in to talk to her, she is so pleasant. I've had a lot of students tell me that, you know, they wouldn't be here if we didn't have Linda. <laughs> Miss Linda is a well full of knowledge. She's so friendly and welcoming and gracious, and I really hate to see her go. We're trying to convince her not to leave, but I think after 45 years, she deserves a break. <laughs> wow, uh, I think back, I, I started as a file clerk, then a patient representative. I did an interviewer trainee, personnel specialist, a placement coordinator, a supervisor for records, compensation analyst, and a manager, and moved into the current role that I have. Carolyn comes to work with a positive attitude. She's honest, uh, she listens to your concerns, uh, she's very uh, personable. If you tell her something in confidence, it stays, it stays that way. She's a person that you want to be like, and she never has anything negative to say about anybody. So. That's Carolyn, my friend. <laughs> I enjoy working with Sandra because she is uh, very methodical, digs deep into the minutia to get things done, has a way about excellence. Well, actually, in the very beginning, I knew I had a gem. I knew I did. She is just an excellent employee. What I enjoy most about working with Becca is her calm demeanor. No matter what's going on in the unit, she just keeps her same demeanor, but there's confidence in that calmness, and I have confidence in knowing that that patient is being taken care of and everything's going to work out. It can be one of the worst situations going on. The patient can be crashing, and she just moves so calmly, so slowly. She does the best she can do. She's great. When I asked Edna about this, I said, Edna, 45 years, that's fabulous. And I know they want to have you have a little part in this filming session. And Edna said, oh, no, I just can't do that. I don't like to be in the spotlight. And that's Edna. But the thing about Edna to me is that she's such a shining star every single day when she comes in to work. Edna always does the right thing. She doesn't need anybody telling her what to do. She already knows what to do. She has a quiet calmness about herself and is able to persevere and, and get through whatever situation that, that gets thrown at her that's out of the ordinary. When I think back, and I remember getting my first paycheck. And at that time, our hourly rate was like $5.75 an hour, which is like unheard of now, but, and I just couldn't believe that I was actually getting paid to do what I love. After 41 years, I'm really amazed to see the change of the health system. I spent more time at Grady than uh, any place else. My husband tells me that I love Grady more than I love him. <laughs> I believe that Grady 
is the number one hospital in the metro Atlanta area. Our care that we give, you know, taking care of the patients, and it just, it just amazes me. Grady has just managed to survive and to, you know, come out stronger, and I think that's just a big accomplishment. I just enjoy working here. It's a great place, and uh, uh, great is just, it's, it's, it's a great place. We love her. Well, thank you. <laughs>